Hey y'all, I'm here. Just as a little follow-up to the video about switching out UDEV, I'm gonna give an example of just passing the device off to a separate handler, like a little helper script in mdevd. And this example is gonna use an actual issue I ran into with ADB and my phone not getting the right permissions set. First, I'm going to just show the relevant line in mdevd.conf. So, this is saying to just do it with anything under the USB subsystem that pops up. And by default, set permissions to have it owned by root, group root, and 660 so that the root user and root group can read and write. This at sign says to use an external command. In this case, a script I wrote called plugdev.sh. And the special variable mdev is just the device name, which can take a few different forms. So part of the script is just going to be filtering to only the form that's useful. And now just to sort of show the group that is Oh, the tab completion I was looking for, there we go. As you can see, what I'm using is just a shell script. So, the most useful form, at least to me, that it passes is a path to the, to the device file. To just kind of make sure that the first argument starts with bus slash USB. And this pipe is just because mdevd likes to send a lot of stuff to standard out, so just to make it shut up basically. And exit if it's not the form we're looking for. And you'll see a lot of stuff where I just kind of sent something to a log file to see what I'm even dealing with. And this hot mess of a line, lsusb-s is sort of show info about the given device. And this is taking the third and fourth fields of that path that we were given, because those, the bus and the device, are what we want to pass LSUSB. Then I don't remember what, if anything, this sends to standard air, but I got it just sending any error messages to the void anyway. So that's just to get like all the device info. Then to get the name specifically, I really want to believe that there is a better way to do this, but the said solution is what I could think of, so that's what I'm using. So this pretty much just takes all of the information before the name, including like tailing spaces and just remove it, leaving only the device name. And then something about that said command leaves 
blank devices as one character, so just a simple emptiness check won't do it, so just make sure that it's more than one character. Then look for the device name in this file that I made for it, slash etsy slash plugdev mdevd dot list, just because I figured literally nothing else was going to use that name. And if it is, then change it to be owned by root and group plug dev and just throwing slash dev slash in front because as you can see here, like it's just what it's passing starts with bus slash USB, so that's just kind of to make it the full path. Yeah, and then making sure that it's read write for the for root and for the group that ADB expects. Then at that point you just need to make sure that the script is executable, restart either mdevd or your system, and then going forward phones should get well, at least whatever phones you tell it about should get the proper permissions. Yeah, if you don't use ADB, you won't run into that specific issue, but some of the stuff there might be helpful for other permissions-related issues where UDEV sets something's permissions one way and MDEVD sets it another way. So yeah, just a little example of tossing a device to its script. That's about it for this video. Hopefully it helped someone, and uh, have a nice rest of your day.